Hi guys, here we are on Minor Evacuation. I was playing as uh, Nefash and this time I went for the Vipers. Vipers and Overlords uh, and this time I decided not to use Vipers connected to Hives uh, but rather use them actively to observe their active potential. <coughs> so now, of course, first I wanna capture all these nodes that have uh, these auras rising from them because they will give me the, you can see they will give me these uh, abilities over here. So, I'm capturing all this, although I normally wouldn't go in this direction, but they are, they are here, those with auras, so I go towards there to capture them okay and uh, now i can clear this so locust lasts for 12 seconds this time i didn't go for a i got i went for a structure morph speed rather than for locust duration and it was uh, fine still need these locusts over here to clear stuff but what is the what I think should kind of be fixed with uh, Nefash, what I think it's the biggest problem is that you, when you have a lot of this kind of <coughs> elevated terrain and choke, choky uh, areas, then you often don't have a other uh, node in range, so there is no way I can go. I cannot even reach this one, I can't reach this one on the top ground, so I have to just build uh, my hive over here. Now I already have the spire, uh, and I have this. I will, of course, need some uh, nidoses for early game and probably later for defense of the base. <coughs> okay, so now I'm getting here. I'll uh, leave this open because this one is connecting to the main hive, and this one be connected to this one so open this one too and come nidos okay i run other locusts so i need to open this nidos over here well these guys are still working here and this is kind of comfortable uh, defense now I'm cleaning this area so I can actually go over here with my hive and this overlord like overlords have these ventral uh, sacks which uh, actually they are not uh, like normal overlords they are not even detectors like in uh, brood war but uh, and they cannot morph into overseers like in Starcraft 2 they are they are fighting units, they actually throw baneling every three seconds at the ground units when they are sieged up. Okay, now I deal with these guys and go to clear this area. Okay, and this gives me plague, nice, the plague is pretty useful. I'm getting more uh, production over here and this guy to clear uh, this base and the attacker. I didn't want to go for bonuses, I just want to observe the defense with the uh, overlords and vipers. So now I think I believe I will be getting this thing, yeah, more drones, and in the, with these other, I'm getting my uh, Vipers and Overlords. Okay, the only problem is detection, because you need detection against these Banshees, so you either build worms, I actually didn't have worms in mind, so I decided to uh, actually spread the network because activated nodes are also uh, are also uh, detectors you can see that it says that data storage over here these ones uh, without auras don't have data storage okay so now 
it's a panic launch. I have two wipers. Now with wipers, the thing is, uh, blinding cloud that's uh, like in versus uh, in StarCraft 2. It's not like in co-op. In co it's stronger. It's disabling cloud, which uh, uh, prevents any attack and spell casting. But this is just uh, reduces attack to melee range and 50% uh, reduced uh, movement speed for 15 seconds. And parasitic bomb is always uh, everywhere the same. Cloud that deals 90 damage. But the 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 thing is in this sporangium thing, like, okay, we have this biological degradation that you, that you saw in my previous videos, but, uh, so I will not, that's when you connect it to the hive, but uh, sporangium is, uh, units died within blending clouds uh, will grant biomass to viper, causing viper's weapon able to attack uh, ground targets, dealing area damage and increasing its attack speed, weapon rage and energy regeneration. And this effect can stack up to five times each st stack will refresh the duration. And also parasitic bomb units died uh, with para within parasitic bomb will spread the parasitic bomb to two nearby air units and units affected by parasitic bomb will explode when attacked by viper standing nearby units and dealing equivalent damage. Uh, so that's uh, that's very good. So you can see these uh, main defenders are these overlords uh, uh, getting banelings, banelings, uh, baneling go. <laughs> so uh, like Pokemon go, that dam <laughs> damage 40 versus structure 80 and rage 13. So it's pretty good. And uh, now I'm actually dealing with this. I'm getting pl this plagued, and these immortals will now die. Locust and plague combine. But now I will start using these abilities. And uh, you see that now it gets biomassed. And 15 seconds duration. Okay, now some parasitic bomb. And you can see that the stun thing and uh, explodes. And when they are full, they actually have a look at this. They, they deal 45 damage, a weapon spin point 520, that's 30 DPS range 9. But then when they have full stacks, they have a. Uh, they can attack twice uh, a sec per second, so three times faster. Their range increases uh, by one per stack, so it's. Uh, it's uh, 14 maximum range and uh, that's uh, really good so that's like 90 90 plus dps range attack uh, and also can attack ground units so vipers are actually very good uh, the only thing is that they're they are still fragile you know when you attack like enemy vipers then you can suffer because they get parasitic bombs and so other spells and attacks because uh, their health is uh, 200 and well, if they don't have uh, increased health regeneration so um, they are still fragile but they are very strong attackers okay let's speed it up again now I think I'll be using the okay this is the remnant so that neither I was using okay now I have 12 overlords so that's a pretty good uh, number look at this uh, uh, carrying the bane links over here <coughs> so I'll be using them over here to defend I also used activated this just for detection and this one will produce a locust while it can each one when it's activated gets uh, six free locusts but then it has to be connected to the network and when these guys destroy this it won't be anymore so now it still is, but now it's not anymore, but, uh, but look at this now, now these vipers are actually attacking these uh, ground units, okay this viper look at this how, this kind of biomass that it gets back to it, to it. okay, defense wise I use plague over here, and I didn't even have to use other top bars than just one Nidus. <coughs> okay. And this is actually pretty good defense, you can see, I don't need anything else. 
have vipers against air. Their own auto attack is actually pretty effective. But look at this, they are always full of energy because look at this regeneration when they have full stacks. So you can practically with uh, just uh, like... Okay, I actually have seven vipers. Most of them weren't even in use because I have more than enough energy, like two or three vipers here. It would be enough with this uh, energy region. Okay, next ship defense I will actually slow to normal speed so you can observe better. Uh, okay, now I go to uh, fight these, a little bit of parasitic bombs and auto attacks and they die. So Viper is actually probably the strongest uh, nefarious unit when uh, properly microed. Okay, two Nidus is over here. To clear this base and detect these banshees. Okay, so no bonuses are gone, but I don't care. Now I do have uh, 14 of these guys and 8 vipers. 15, okay. So the weapon speed is 3, so every 3 seconds they hit a bane link, which is enough. <coughs> They come with this Numetes carapace, you don't need to research this. And that will be this, okay. Uh, we can speed up. I'm going to spread over here so I can actually defend, can actually come on that side in time. I actually, I'm, uh, sorry, I'm connecting here. I'm also getting hive there so I can activate this if, if I don't have the path. I could have just built a worm, honestly, but okay, this is a better have high half has more HP so you can uh, and produce some locusts so I will be activating these two this one and this one for detection and I have top bars almost untouched so I have everything ready now I activate and vipers are in position. I have 17 overlords, eight, uh, uh, nine vipers. Okay, now I use the the, the dude, the Cerberus uh, precursor, and I will also be going there to do some damage over there. Not to waste it. Okay, now the locusts deal some damage. Okay, this now that vi vipers actually attack the ground units, and they are pretty efficient. Look at the, the 14 range when they are fully biomassed. This target says air and the tool tip, but of course now they are they are attacking these. Okay, let's slow it down. They are also attacking these uh, hybrids. So this is a really cool defense over here. And this viper go. <laughs> another cloud well, this is pretty good uh, siege range like 13 vipers have 14 <coughs> and this viper has 34 kills this one has 51 so they are pretty efficient okay, pull them back a bit and this de defense is working really, really good. You can use it on offense too. But uh, as I said, you have to be careful now. This map is perfect for defense. There is no spellcasters. But when you're attacking the bases, you'll get uh, irradiated. You'll get uh, parasitic bombed. You'll get uh, <coughs> seeker missile. You'll get stormed. So you have to be... <coughs> Pretty careful with these vipers, uh, but for defense they are uh, perfect. Okay, use the Omega Lisk. Okay, I think I lost a viper and maybe an Overlord or two on the on the go. I'm transferring these hive. Okay, I have a lot of money, but 
I'm almost maxed. I saved a few supply where I need be. Can I have a white person lost one on the transfer? Still get 19 of uh, eight, uh, 17 of these guys, but that should be more than enough to defend this. Uh, okay. So you can see that I cannot see this bench without detection. When I activate this, then I will get detection. <coughs> and now we are cruising. Now even without wipers, you can see that these banelings are doing a lot. But now when I start using the, these... Okay, I think I'll be using yeah, this guy. Okay, I didn't deactivate this. Uh, but as they are all coming from this direction, okay, they will come. Uh, first, they want to destroy this. Okay. Okay. So lightning cloud. And we use this an auto cast and kill almost everything and finish them off. Precursors are very strong. Okay, just throwing. I didn't use a lot of parasitic bombs over here because there's not a lot of <coughs> air units, but uh, you can see that uh, this Viper is now... The only thing it doesn't have is rapid regen, so uh, health regen. <coughs> I pull a little bit on front to be more useful. Let's see, the 68 kills. Overloads probably. Ah, similar. Similar. So that's it. Uh, <coughs> Viper uh, uh, Viper overall defense actually proved to be probably the best. I mean, if you get the hives here and connect Vipers to them, that's also pretty good, but you need more locusts. Uh, like this, I think this is actually the best defense <laughs> that you can, uh, can get on this uh, map. And it can also work on... Uh, on the dead of night so pretty pretty good uh, thing let's see the overlay okay here we go so of course i was not karak <laughs> because this uh, overlay doesn't recognize the nexus co commanders but uh, i can see bane links did let's look at this fifth more than 1500 bane links created most of them by these overlords some of them were from the nidoses i didn't use my many nidoses so uh, most of them were from here, uh, and Vipers did decent. Okay, this this is there is no way there were 312 uh, air units. They kill all air units, but uh, a lot of them were also ground. I lost that one Viper and transfer, but eight are more than enough. So Vipers did good and also slowing enemies down. Uh, and uh, locusts, okay, that's the, 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 these locusts from the nodes, hydral is from nidoses, uh, and uh, immortal, that, well, that's the precursor, that's the top bar. Okay, so it was a pretty good game, uh, vipers and uh, overlords are pretty good combination from uh, Nefash. Uh, as I said, you can use it on offense too, but you have to be a lot more uh, careful not to get uh, not to get your vipers uh, killed by the mostly by spell casters they are most the biggest threat to them okay <laughs> thanks for watching this uh, and uh, see you guys watch my other videos too